at the port of Kimberlin City Resort. Got our friends meeting us here with their camper rigs. We got down here uh, a little bit earlier working from the uh, RV actually Thursday and Friday with work. And so far, internet, uh, they don't really have a Wi Fi right over here that we can reach. There is one. They say that you can reach Mid Park, wherever that is. So, just having to do a little bit of a uh, phone hotspot. Luckily, there's cell coverage here, which we knew. We've been here before. And, uh, but all, all is well, you know, we're the weekend after uh, the last trip, which was the Vintage Camper Rally, which uh, is where we took out the big awning up there with the rainstorm so we got it rolled up and uh, secure where we can travel with it and we will eventually get that all repaired when we get back home with the uh, folks that actually help put the fabric on we have a zip d distributor in the area so looking forward to that but looking forward to a nice weekend it's gonna be a little bit warmer a little bit warmer than uh, this time of year normally but it's gonna be nice we got a lot of shade and lots of trees around us here and of course we're we're right on uh, Table Rock Lake, and it's just a beautiful day out here. Uh, a little bit of sun, a little bit of a breeze, feels good. Yeah, down here uh, at the resort, you know, right on the water, uh, they've got, turn my camera around, they've got those uh, houseboat rentals. We uh, checked those out actually when we were down here for the first time in May this year with our friends and uh you know we all agreed that'd be uh that'd be a lot of fun so uh we still have it on our little bucket list to get one of those giant house boats and rent it for a day out here on this beautiful table rock lake it's a really big lake and uh but yeah just a beautiful day looks like uh let's see today's thursday actually and uh i think there's uh people kind of leaving today and tomorrow and another group you know of campers if if there is a big group will come in for the weekend of course we're starting to get out of season now we're past labor day so maybe it won't be so busy yeah, another another thing uh straight out in front of us uh down here at the resort is that floating restaurant they call it the pizza and grill over there i think there's a, uh, an official name for it but uh, we did have pizza there last time it was actually pretty good and of course they've got a bar uh, off season. It looks like they weren't open yesterday. They are open uh, today, Thursday through Sunday, I believe. So I'm sure we'll find our way over there. Last night we actually went, after we got in, we went over to a place called Castaway's Pub. Uh, it kind of overlooks a little bit of the water where that was, just across the street um, out there. And never been there, but it's a nice little hole in the wall. And they actually had some live music there last night and the guy will be there tonight and uh pub food but you know also a bar so we actually may take our group over there tonight and we'll see yeah the park does have a lot of uh cabins here let's see there's probably uh three six seven eight there's probably eight cabins right down in this area so uh got lots of choices to enjoy this beautiful nature out here oh, take me home to the place I belong West Virginia sing it Mark What's the best part of camping? Mimosas. <laughs> Being with your friends. There yes. we go. Happy Friday is like our last <laughs> hurrah That's for the, the year. Best part. The food. Yeah, there you yeah. go. I'm with you there. All right. Hey, tonight are we going to jam again? Yes. We're going to jam. Let's, let's jam again. Yeah. Tonight. Let's Barbecue do it. I'll get I'll get my laptop out so I can actually see the words. I enjoyed that well, last night. <laughs> and I I'm going to sing along for the offensive coordinator and KJ Jefferson, the quarterback of the Hogs. Our projector and screen on the bus is working pretty good. We got the Hogs game. Once it got dark, it was a little bit easier to see it. Got the pyro. It's John. Him from the blind date we went on years ago. Oh, 
the struggling actor who didn't believe he could save a snapshot based on how and how much he had. I'd love to talk about it over dinner sometime. Well, I usually don't talk about going during dinner, but for a potential customer, huh. Tom Ham, I will make a tackle it. right there. That Razorback defense oh, yeah, did a good good job on that left side with Landon Beebe, their big tackle, and Mark Hutchinson, their left guard.